What's up guys, how's everyone doing? Today, we're gonna be taking a look at something special. This is the best looking jailbreak right tweak in years. It's not every day that I make a dedicated video about a jailbreak right tweak anymore, but this is worth it. So once you install this tweak, there's a really nice looking setup process that you can go through. It breaks down the various different features of the tweak, so you can open the stage by simply dragging from the bottom right of your device, and you can elegantly enter split view by just dragging the stage under an app that you already have open. Of course, you can tap on any app to open it, swipe to the bottom right of your screen to close the app, and if you drag the stage down, you can hide it if there's something that you want to look at. You also can jump to an app if you long press on the app to launch it. And here we go. Now we're ready to try it out. One important thing that gets a little bit confusing is the application behaviors. Some applications, depending on what they are, work and run a little bit differently. The best example is Twitter. Without tweaking the application launch mode from iPad to iPhone, you get some really weird behaviors of the application when you try to put it in a stage. You can see when I open and close a stage with Twitter in it, Twitter just automatically relaunches, which is kind of strange. So in order to prevent that, all you really have to do is just tweak some of the options in the settings and hopefully you shouldn't have that issue. Honestly, the tweak selection in the last few years hasn't been fantastic and it feels like it's just tweak after tweak of the same old thing and developers don't seem to really be trying anything new and exciting anymore. That's why when I see tweaks like this, I feel like I have to highlight it and I have to cover it. There have been other multitasking tweaks, but this is the most polished looking tweak I've seen in a long time. This tweak just looks awesome. It looks like it was a feature that Apple designed. I don't have a plus or max size phone, so I imagine it looks even better on the bigger displays. So bottom line, this isn't just your ordinary run of the mill jailbreak tweak or a multitasking tweak. There was a lot of love and time and effort that was poured into this tweak to make it the way that it is and the way that it looks. And I heavily appreciate the fact that somebody in 2023 is able to accomplish something that looks this good. The tweak's description reads, Dynamic Stage is the modern reimagining of Stage Manager for iPhone. Offering a blend with dynamic iOS. With its seamless integration into iOS, you can expect fluid gestures and animations that will elevate your multitasking experience. Tom, the developer of this tweak, had mentioned that he spent the better part of almost an entire year trying to craft this tweak. And the more that you use it, the more you understand how much time and effort was put into making this tweak the absolute best that it can be. This tweak allows seamless, split-screen multitasking on iOS devices, enhancing productivity by allowing you to interact with two apps simultaneously. And I can't get over how good the implementation here is. You can open up two applications side-by-side -side in split view, and then go ahead and long press and hold, and then just drag over whatever link that you want to drop in. And being able to do that is pretty cool. You can see how something like this would definitely be useful. This tweak feels like something Apple built. This is the best jailbreak tweak in years. It's available right now on the Havoc repo for $3.99, and for $3.99, I don't think you can beat it. Definitely give this tweak a shot, you won't regret it. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell, so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.